<laughs> On behalf of the faith communities of our great city of Leeds, I welcome you to this civic observance of Remembrance Sunday as we join together in work and in music and in a time of silent remembrance in honouring those who have given their lives in the defence of freedom and justice. People of all religious faiths and none look to a future of peace and justice with hope and expectation. And we all of us have a responsibility to contribute to that future and to help to build it together. This commemoration draws onwards from the sacred scriptures of a number of historic world faiths. So we're represented here in our city. And so in this observance we seek to express the frailty and the vulnerability of the human condition before God. We offer up a framework for our thoughts and prayers as we consider the tensions and the heartbreaks of the past and of the present time. And as we look to safeguard all that is good and worthy in our world for generations still to come. And together we share in solemn witness to an everlasting and universal message of forgiveness, reconciliation and hope. And so we pray, lead us from death to life, from falsehood to truth, lead us from despair to hope, from fear to trust, lead us from hate to love, from war to peace, and may peace fill our hearts, our world, our universe.
Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of conflict and ask God that he may give us peace. For the service men and women who have died in the violence of war, each one remembered and known by God. May God give peace. God give peace. For those who love them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss. May God give peace. God give peace. For all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, remembering family, friends, and all who pray for their safe return. May God give peace. God give peace. For civilian women, children, and men whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and hatred of humanity. May God give peace. For peacemakers and peacekeepers who keep this world secure and free. May God give peace. For all who bear the burden and privilege of leadership, political, military, and religious, asking for gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace. May God give peace. Amen. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honor the past, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 23, Psalm of David, is more than David, the Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing, he makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters, he refreshes my soul, he guides me along the right path for his name's sake, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forevermore. Reading from the Christian Scriptures and Paul's letter to the Romans. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. What then shall we say in response to these things? 
If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life Neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful, verily we have granted thee manifest victory, that God may forgive thee thy faults in the past, and these to fall, fulfill his favour to thee, and guide thee on the straight way, and that God may help thee with powerful help. It is he that sends down tranquility into the hearts of the believers, that they may add faith to their faith. For God belongs to forces of the heaven and earth, and God is full of knowledge and good wisdom. Amen. Six scriptures from Acts Thou art my eldest master, my king, my spouse, and thou sustainest me ever, for I am thy time. I have put one tongue, how am I to utter thy whole praise? Thou desirest myriad of our sin and hardest purse wise in thee in many ways. I am devoid of wisdom. But save me thou, O God, as is thy innate nature. I seek but thy refuge. I lean only on thy hope, for thou art my only bliss giving friend. O beneficent God, my Saviour, save me thou, for I am thy own slave. May the name of Nanak. Always stay in high spirits and may put up and kind prevail. Amen. Today we are here to remember those who walk with a strong and equal spirit. God and hell no or conquer my mind. O oh God, thou art the giver of life, the mover of pain and sorrow, the bestower of happiness, O oh, creator of the universe, may we receive thy spring sin destroying light. May thou guide our intellect in the right direction. Lead us from the untruth the truth. Lead us from darkness to light. Lead us from death to immorality. May all be happy. 
May all be free from disabilities. May all know the good of others. May no one suffer from sorrow. May there will be peace everywhere. Om Shanti Shanti. of the Lord's Prayer in the traditional form of words. So we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Parade! Chan! On a guard, general salute, precinct of... Standard bearers, carry standards. <coughs>
Yes, sir, please